So here we have a, uh, a user admin templates that is using a JavaScript controller and that, is going to f that is going out to the network and retrieving an array of users, right? It's coming back with 14 users, I believe. And right now, the only thing that it's doing is that it's, it's displaying it, it's writing it to the console. Uh, here's the uh, implementation in the controller. Uh, we go to the init, uh, we find all users, we make an HTTP request to the server, uh, come, we parse out the body, and then we, we, uh, we use the promise to then send over the users, parse from the, from the body, and then we just console it to the user. So how do we render it? Let's see. Well, what we could do uh, is uh, follow this template of what we want to do. Right? Basically, this is what we want to generate on the fly. Right? We want to iterate and, uh, and take this, uh, this uh, table row and generate it dynamically as we iterate over the array of users. Uh, uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it. We could do this uh, from scratch, um, from uh, JavaScript. Uh, let's do that first, and, we'll, we'll, and then we'll consider an, an alternative. Uh, let's see. Um, from the controller, uh, we what do we want to do is generate each TR, uh, then for every element in, in the uh, property of the user, such as the username, the first name, the last name, if we have an email and whatnot, we want to generate a TD. Right, so we want to generate one TR for every object, right? For every field in there, we want to generate a TD and append it uh, to to each one of the TRs, and then each TR we want to append it to the to the body of the uh, 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 of the table. Yes, okay. And jQuery is perfect for for doing that. That's exactly what jQuery was designed to do, right? It creates an API uh, to easily manipulate the DOM, right? Uh, but it'll, it'll allow us to do it uh, uh, you know, from, a, um, from a very uh, low level uh, direct manipulation of the DOM, right? which is a very, very powerful. Um, OK, so first of all, we'll need to load the um, uh, jQuery uh, library. So I'm, I'm, I'm just copying it from a different template that we already did. Uh, so let's uh, paste it under here. Notice that I'm copying it right before our JavaScript, yes? Because our JavaScript depends that jQuery is already uh, load it, right? So the order matters, okay? Um, all right, so in the controller, what do we want to do? Well, we need to grab a hold of the, of the body, of this T body, right? Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. In, in, um, uh, in here, uh, we can grab that. We can say uh, var uh, T body. We can grab it by name. We can say dollar sign and then T body. Now T body, just like that, is um, it tells uh, jQuery retrieve for me the DOM elements whose uh, element name is tbody. Okay, uh, all right. Now we have it, and uh, uh, notice that the tbody already has something in there, right? It has this this dummy content in there, right? What what can we do with tbody? We could maybe empty it. This means remove any of the children uh, uh, elements that are under the tbody, right? So if I run this. Uh, notice that the Alice is gone, right? It was there for a second, and then it just disappeared. Okay, uh, so we can we can empty it out, uh, and then we can just start iterating over the the, the users. We can say for uh, var i um, i zero i uh, less than um, less than the uh, size of users users dot uh, length. Right, I plus plus. So you can just iterate it just like any other uh, array, okay? Uh, and then we can retrieve every every user object from within the users array, uh, sub i. Uh, now, um, uh, now that we have the user, the user has each one of these fields, right? The username, the password, the first name, last name. Uh, so let's only do the ones that we really care about. We only really care about the username, first name, and last name, password. We're not going to actually render it. Uh, and so what, how do we render it? So we're going to render it as table rows, right? Each object as a table row. So we need to create a brand new T table row element, right? Let's do that, table row. Again, we use jQuery. jQuery allows us to create on the fly uh, DOM elements. There we go. Notice the syntax difference between this one and this one. This one says, uh, retrieve for me a DOM element whose element name is tbody, whereas this says, Notice that it has a pointy bracket. So this, this says, don't go fetch anything. Actually, create a brand new one. Right? So if you point pointy brackets, it means create a brand new one. Okay? Uh, now, 
creating a brand new one doesn't mean that it's being added and rendered in the DOM. Not yet. Okay, I need to, I need to uh, deliberately put it in the DOM. Uh, we haven't done that. Uh, to do that, we will need to append it to the T body. Okay, uh, let's not do that just yet. Uh, let's, what else? What else do we need to do? We need to create the TDs uh, for each one of the fields. Right? So let's uh, create, the, uh, create a brand new TD uh, for the username. So let's do the username first, just only the username. Uh, all right, so let's create a brand new TD. There it is. Uh, and then we can populate the TD by putting inside of the TD the username, right? Uh, put the, uh, the, the string uh, of the username in there. So we can say td.append. So put inside the, the TD element uh, the following. We can put the user.username. Uh, we know that the username is in there, right? Uh, and then we can, we can append the TD to the TR. We can say tr.append td. So append the td. So for every td that we generate dynamically, we append it to the tr. And once we have the tr, we're gonna, uh, after we have appended all the usernames and passwords and first names and last names and emails and everything, uh, we can now then um, uh, append it to the, to the body. So tbody.append. Uh, uh, you, this this, uh, you can do this, append uh, the tr. Uh, or you can do it backwards. You can say uh, tr.append2 tbody. So you can either say child append to the um, append to the parent, or parent append the child. You can go either way, right? Um, all right, excellent. So we we append the tr. Let's uh, if we run this, let's see if this uh, uh, works. There is. So we have the usernames for all the users in there. See that? Okay. We can we we certainly could do the the rest, uh, the password, uh, first name, last name, and email and whatnot for each one of these. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's just do the first name and last name. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to reuse the same TD uh, for, for, the, for the other fields. Uh, first, we'll append uh, an empty TD because I'm not going to do the password. Uh, maybe I'll do, maybe, uh, I guess no. We, we'll, we'll append it with some dummy text, perhaps. Uh, let's see, we, we did the username. Let's do the, the, the password with just maybe a whole bunch of stars. We can say um, TD. Um, I, can, I can create a brand new TD again, so I can just copy this. I can just repeat this over, right? I can just repeat this over again. I create the TD brand new. Uh, I append the empty string or maybe uh, star, 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 right? As if uh, this, this is a password, I'm not going to tell you. And then append it to the, to, the, to the TD, and I can just do it again, right? But now with the, uh, with the first name, first name. And then I can do it again, but with the last name. Make sense? Everybody good? Uh, there we have it. So we have the first name, the last name, uh, of, uh, uh, and the username of, of a few of these users. right? And we have dynamically uh, generated the, the, the TR. Everybody good? All right. Uh, how about all the, all the other ones? For, 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 for email, uh, let's, uh, let's assume we have it. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put some some dummy content in there, right? Uh, hello. Dot world. Dot com. Uh, and for roles, um, uh, maybe everybody's a student. Uh, and uh, and then the last one is what? Let's see. Uh, what do we want to do for the last one? The last one, we do need some buttons, right? For instance, if I want to remove a particular user, right? I want to be able to click on that user and then remove that user. Uh, or I like to be able to select that user because I want to update uh, information and then I want to copy its content uh, on the top row, right? Uh, so, so I need to generate uh, buttons for each one of them, each one of those, right? So let's create buttons for those. So maybe a, um, a, a delete button. Uh, so var, maybe a, a delete delete uh, button. I can create a brand new one. So here's a button. Um, now this could be a button like that or, or, or you can, you can uh, put the entire HTML uh, to generate this. So this might say delete perhaps. There we go. Uh, and then append it to the, uh, um, we can append it to the TD. So we say td.append 
append, uh, wait, append uh, the delete button, and then append the T the um, to TR. So append append the TD. Uh, oops, what do we do? Oh, did I not do it right? Append the lead button. I'm sorry? I th uh, student, I did, I did it the roll. So wait, TD. Uh, oh, right, I need, a, I need another TD, sorry, yes. There we go. So it's at the bot at the end, right? Uh, excellent. So we know we know how to generate uh, dynamic uh, content right from a from a URL. Uh, one of the things that we might want to do here is that uh, 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 for delete, we, we we might want to be able to um, add a, um, a a field in there or an attribute that uh, that uniquely identifies that delete button, so that we can tell uh, who um, who's being deleted, right? So let's let's do that next.